Hi guys, as you know, I was a little problem. Um, I just want to introduce our group. I'm Ravina, this is Berna, this is um, Radic. Radic and Jessica. I'm talking about the basics of our project. Um, Berna's going to talk about the SWOT analysis and Radic's going to talk about the accounts, the most important part. <laughs> Uh, we are looking, we are trying to set up an extra academic support facility for par rich professional parents. Um, they would be provide, we would be providing, as teachers, extra support to students who are weak in school. They will have um, learning difficulties and we will be providing extra particular support to them at home. Um, Bernard, do you want to talk about the SWOT analysis? Yes. Uh, first of all, we want to talk about the strengths of our uh, project. Uh, our strengths are uh, we are experienced people because we are both teachers and we uh, have qualifications and uh, we have the knowledge of the schools, knowledge of what parents want and knowledge of what children lack. And uh, we have knowledge of weak students because we, we want to deal with the weak students, the lack of what students have. And uh, this is a competitive market, so uh, people give importance to their children in their life. So uh, we believe it will be very successful. And our opportunities are uh, we advise the parents of child's strengths and weaknesses and develop the child's weaknesses using his strengths. And uh, we want to teach the parents how to have, how to behave the children. And we want to provide potential for practical skills to use academic skills like piano, football. And uh, we want to come over borders between the teachers and the parents. And we'll have open days and free first lessons. And our weaknesses and threats, I want to mention about them together. And um, we may have lack of money and fundings. And the parents' on unawareness of their children can be our weaknesses. Uh, we can have lack of money of the parents because parents should be rich to send their children to us. Uh, we may have lack of consciousness of the parents about their children and uh, we may have learning difficulties of the child and uh, our threats are offset to other schools. This is made very important, the competitive market. We, this is the competitive market and uh, bad words about the school, about the education can be a bad reputation, can be our threats and Cost of advertising can be our threats. Thank you. Well, going on to advertising from there, our target market was parents of students that are between 5 years old and 14 years old. We have actually targeted students that are 14 to 16 years old and professional families because we're trying to target rich people. Um, our location was actually in Birmingham in an area called Handsworth. We picked a, a specific college for our location. In terms of advertising, we were looking to use posters <coughs> and leaflets, target actual schools, get the teachers and head teacher permission in the schools, and advertise in shops that children <coughs> would visit. So, for example, when they're going to have breakfast in the morning, um, in so baguette shops, for example, and on the way home, fish and chip shops, we'd advertise in those types of places and breakfast bars, we were also going to use social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, these are for the older kids, 14 to 16 year olds. To target parents, because that was another target market we had, we were looking to advertise in um, temples, um, sorry, temples, gyms, restaurants, hotels, um, supermarkets, that type of thing. And I'm going to pass you on to Roderick, who's going to talk about the most important money. Just about money. <laughs> <laughs> money is the money. Most, most important thing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and girls and me uh, got enough money in our accounts to start our uh, business. Yeah, so we got three thousand pound, and it's enough for our business. Uh, what do we need for start? 
need a location where to do the business. Uh, yeah, it's here in Birmingham. And uh, what we need, uh, the very important thing is the business insurance, and it's not a cheap thing. Uh, the advertising, uh, the, the girls say something about it, it's not cheap thing. So, we need also much money at the beginning. Uh, one uh, thing what is uh, the best is that we have volunteers for our beginnings. So, the salary for the first month is zero. We don't need nothing. Yeah? We got, we got two best teacher ever. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so, I'm going to thank you, uh, girls. <laughs> And uh, what do we need? Uh, yeah, we need some textbooks, books, uh, some materials as maps and technological devices uh, as maybe laptops or... Uh, they will be provided by the college because they're already in the college. So, this, this is a start budget. Mm -hmm. And then... Yeah, uh, uh, let's talk about costs. Uh, Volunteers we have only for uh, half a year. Uh, then the girls want to be rich. Yes, <laughs> of course me and Jessica as well. <laughs> so uh, the teachers will pay twenty pounds an hour. What is uh, what does it mean? Uh, we will pay uh, of each lesson uh, of each week of each month uh, one thousand and forty uh, pounds uh, to uh, salary. Yes. Yeah. That, those are our operating costs. So £1,040 yeah. is our operating cost per month. And then we need uh, something extra to buy extra books, extra te uh, textbooks, uh, extra softwares, and uh, it's about £50 and £20 a month. So, what does it mean? We want to be very rich. <laughs> and uh, uh, look at these. Uh, the profits are simple, uh, it's more than £4,000 a uh, month and we know that uh, we know, we know that we need yeah, yeah, uh, that we need only uh, 1000 but we earn uh, 450 every month. That is based on us teaching 20 students for 13 hours in one week, which would be 260 hours on a monthly basis on a £20 charge per lesson, £4,500. So, we will be very rich. <laughs> 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 and it's the last this is slide. <laughs> and this is a result of our hard work. Hard work. <laughs> Two, they, those are the only two risks in the business model. Okay, because 
it is a competitive market. It's a very competitive market. Mm -hmm. But we would look to build a niche within that competitive market. Uh, I have uh, one thing. It's a very competitive market here in Great Britain. We start this project in Great Britain. But then uh, we'll continue in other countries, Turkey, Italy, and Czech Republic, of course. And there is not so competitive market for this kind of business. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah. Could sustainability for the project? Mm -hmm. If they could uh, put this type of the school, of this school, in three or four more countries, it would be better. Yeah. Mm. We are hoping that uh, we will be expanding to whole Europe. <laughs> well, in the next spot. I wish you luck. Good luck. <laughs> that is our long term plan for five years' time. Yeah, yeah. Right. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We would like to present you our new mobile application for travelers. Uh, that is called either Never Lost or Always Find. We haven't decided yet if we want to go with the positive or with the negative uh, negative name. So this is the structure of our presentation. So we all traveled to Birmingham, right? Most of us flew. When you travel to a destination that you have never been to, you are kind of lost because you don't know nothing about the city. You know nothing about good restaurants, nothing about good clubs, uh, about the monuments, etc. And although there, yeah, there are a lot of mobile applications already, they are not comprehensive really. So they are either on the monuments or either on the restaurants, but none of those applications covers all the, all the sectors that the travelers are interested in. And that we want to change with our new mobile app application that will cover all of these areas. Hmm? Okay. So, uh, our team uh, will, uh, is formed by me, <laughs> that I'm a tourist economist uh, and a destination and market uh, research. And uh, Vaclav uh, for promotion and market uh, and, uh, and marketing. Then Emir for the uh, writing of the articles of the application, and uh, we need a developer of mobile application. Uh, okay, uh, briefly I want to introduce our market. Uh, we have some arrivals in this market, uh, and all these applications are free, so we cannot sell all the application. Uh, and we have really strong uh, competitors like Triposo and City Guides and Planet Airbook Packet Guides. Uh, but we have some uh, some other advantages of this. Like, uh, tri uh, for example, Triposo is a 26 megabyte application, which is a large application, and also uh, it's around 5, 000, 5, 500k downloads. Uh, so London City Guides, just for only London, is also a 5. 500k downloads. Uh, Planet Pocket Guides is uh, you pay you have to pay for that. Uh, it's about seven euros. So uh, this is a brief summary. We can see it in details. Okay. So what makes our application different? First and foremost, it is the audio version. Because if you are walking through the city, you don't always want to read but you may want to listen while walking. So there, there would be articles uh, that would be uh, recorded and you could just, just uh, play them uh, while walking through the, through the city. Then it would also be the compatibility because our mobile application would be compatible with both uh, mobile phones air, uh, and tablets. And as we did our uh, market research, this would be actually one of the first applications, if not the first one, to cover both devices. Then also language options, because we are from different countries, so we already have three languages, and then we could uh, have the articles translated into other languages as well. And uh, 
we also think that this would be something that could lure, attract our potential customers. So price comparison, we would have, uh, our application would be able to compare prices of hotels or prices of meals, restaurants, etc. However, the challenge would be the application size, especially if we want to have this audio, uh, audio, audio files, audio files in there, the, it would be quite uh, large in terms of size. So this is something that we would need to work on. Uh, as for opportunities, uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, <laughs> new, 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 new contacts with uh, other companies, such as restaurants or cinemas or uh, what else. Uh. Okay, that's very well done. And we, we will speak about opportunities later on. And uh, these are the threats, so strong rivals, uh, this market is very competitive with all the other applications, so we need to have the best one. And also getting enough users, especially at the beginning, so to motivate people to download the applications. Once we have a sound base of users, then we are not worried because uh, they will be speaking between each other, so they will know that this application is good. But to, to start this, this is a challenge. So our business concept uh, is a mobile application, the development of a mobile application for uh, tablets and mobile phones for our devices. So that is uh, our strength. Uh, so we have some goals and objectives, but uh, all of are from different areas, so we can't estimate the uh, costs. Uh, we just have some uh, expectations. Uh, for the first year, we have to, we want to start with European Union countries, uh, especially for the capitals like London, Rome, Paris, etc. And we are got, we are aiming 200, 250k downloads for the first year, and we don't have any any we don't expect any profit for the first year. We just want to cover our expenses. For the second year, we want to add United States and China, which is a big, China is a big potential for tourists, and we are uh, expecting a uh, 500k download. <coughs> for the third year, we are uh, planning for India, Brazil, and other exotic countries, depending on the demand, uh, and expected for 1 million download. For the fourth year, is a critical year for us, because we want to have a premium application, uh, for the first three years, we are we are target. We are, our target is middle and uh, low income travelers. But for the first year, we are going to have the premium application for luxury tourism, so uh, we can sell it to tourism agencies or uh, for the luxury for who want to feel themselves elite. Uh, for the fifth year, we want to have we want to focus on some. Uh, other topics, uh, other types of tourism, like health tourism, sport tourism, or religion tourism. So uh, this will be a developing, uh, developing part of our work. And our final objective uh, to be the best travelers application. The best means the most downloaded and the most rated. So uh, from the side of us, the most profited. <laughs> Financial plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. This is just a brief overview of our incomes and expenses. The incomes would be um, coming from advertising. So uh, hotels, restaurants could, uh, could order ad ads, adverts in our uh, application and also from the promoted content. So a certain hotel would, for example, uh, pay for yeah, their hotels for being... Special promotion. Yes. Be, being, being the most visible in our application. Uh, the expenses are operational costs like uh, the rent, the electricity, uh, then also HR expenses, so we need that software dev developer, so that would be his salary. Then we need to have some, uh, some uh, tools, right, PC, and not in the first year, but from the second year also translators, because we would out outsource uh, translations. It's, mm, it wouldn't be of any, any use to hire translators for every, every language. So this, is, this can be quite easily done. And then we have 10% for unexpected expenses. 
so our uh, the resource we need uh, is uh, uh, personal, we need a developer and uh, from the second year uh, the translators. And uh, about technologies we need uh, PCs and uh, program software. Uh, about the finances, uh, uh, <laughs> we think that uh, for the first year, the initial period, uh, we can, uh, initial time, we can finance uh, <laughs> this idea. We are going to pay the salary. <laughs> uh, about the distribution, uh, we can use uh, Google Play. And uh, for the promotion, uh, we think to use uh, the social media, PR, and uh, tariff offices uh, to promote. Uh, uh, also with uh, uh, QR codes uh, to promote the application uh, and the download. But the products, we need uh, books and uh, other tourist uh, materials, such as uh, lists, tourist guides, uh, uh, to get information into the application. Uh, about services, uh, we need uh, the opinion of uh, travelers uh, to insert in the application uh, all what they need. <laughs> and uh, a translation uh, of the system. <laughs> uh, of course we have some risks in here. Uh, uh, in case of we do not have uh, enough downloading, uh, we are going to try the viral marketing, which is the cheapest but sometimes more effective. Uh, we can try some other words. Uh, like we are writing our names, uh, our application names somewhere, or with a QR code, just a sticker, just to people to wonder what is with the QR code and with the name of the application. And this is one of our risks and our solution. Uh, our reward, I think we will be happy at the end. That's our reward, our reward for now. And finally, the key issues. So, those are broken down into short-term issues and long-term issues. So, uh, the first one I've already uh, talked about is to motivate people to download our application so we get a lot of users that we could build on in the future. Uh, it is also potential dissatisfaction of users. So, what to do if they are not satisfied if we don't meet their expectations, I think this could be addressed by you know, good customer service, meaning that uh, uh, any user can provide us with feedback. Of course, we need to uh, respond to that feedback and we need to work with every single customer if that is needed. As for long-term issues, uh, that would be uh, cooperating with companies, meaning with hotels, with restaurants, uh, negotiating better deals for us as for the company, etc. And also, um, it will be again this uh, rivalry in the market. So new applications will certainly be created in the future. So that's something that we also need to be careful about. Okay. Thank you for listening. Any questions? Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so we covered everything except the costs. Did you yes. make any of that uh, approximate valuation of the costs? Uh, we have some approximate valuation, uh, but we are not sure about that, so uh, we don't want to write it there. Uh, approximately. Uh, <laughs> One thousand and uh, uh, approximately good PC is five uh, five hundred euros, approximately. Uh, a developer is uh, one thousand and uh, five hundred euros per month. This is a Turkish developer. This is a Turkish developer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, approximate uh, development costs, uh, like the books or uh, the other. Uh, Sources for information is 300 euros. Uh, and also, we want to uh, buy some experiences from travelers. We want to pay some travelers to uh, have more ideas. That's uh, 200 euros per uh, traveler, we thought. Uh, our monthly cost probably 400 euros, including rent, electricity, and other costs. Uh, that's briefly what we have. In and finance.
finance because uh, in comparison they have self finance. You have self finance as well. Yeah, but yeah. we will start with our savings. Okay. They these are not not large costs, so we can start. We'll see how it goes the first year. If it's not rentable, then we can talk about the plan. Do you give thought to an European project to fund you, a startup project or something? Do you think they will they will be interested in that? Do you think that we? Uh, I think so. Have a chance? But, uh, yes. We need that good developer right now because uh, we don't know about the technical ends. So we we we, we are really self confident because of we don't know, we don't know anything. <laughs> so uh, if we are going to learn something, uh, we need really a good supporter or really a good mentor for this project. Oh. I might have one question. Yeah. <laughs> In your presentation you also spoke about the distribution flow and I think you forgot about the uh, Apple users because uh, you are going to distribute only through Google, Google Play, Play yes. but you should also think about the, the Apple users. Thank you, we really forgot it. <laughs> and that's, that's good that's a big market, maybe yeah, not yeah. in the euro, but uh, if you want to explore, uh, ex extend your, your business to the US, probably you should focus also on this yeah, yeah, yeah. group. Yeah, we really forget. Thank you very much. Just <laughs> <laughs> one more question. And uh, who will be the designer of your application? Some I think here. it could be a crazy idea, so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can pay you. <laughs> and you can be even more rich. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how will you motivate people to, do, to download your application? So there are, there are different ways. Uh, first we would like to start with social media. Uh, we would like some advertisements or uh, we would like to sell some brochures to tourism office uh, to see more. Asking more, we can. Uh, I, I think we can find good motos for more uh, marketing yeah. or uh, trade fairs, travel trade fairs, because you can present uh, that application personally, right? So as we are pre presenting here, look at that, that lady over there. She is nodding all the time. So <laughs> that if we had that application ready, she would download it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can also get some deals with hotels, restaurants, or yes. some leisure parks yeah. for your for your uh, uh, for people who will download the application. So yeah. for, for, for booking, if they, they are downloading uh, downloading your application, you may uh, book for them. Uh, they mentioned one night to a club, new deals with like uh, last night. others. No. Yes, they write an opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.